So today, I troll superpowers in Rise of Nations, and it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, hell no, nah. bro declared war on me and it's collapsing. What is this? I hope you enjoyed the video. Ah, uh, yes, Germany. You know what? Let's steal France. All right, and half of France and Poland is gone. That's great. Yo, why is Eric... Why is Eric fighting for his life in the chat? Turkey, stop spamming me. I'm not helping you invade China. My fault, OG. Turkey, I woke the kid Nixuchi Ratney out like that Injil. My balls, OG. You know what? I'm gonna have Great Britain, too. And here is an example on why you should make a navy. And here goes Great Britain. And I'm gonna I'm gonna launch this big ass invasion on Spain. And here's me arguing with Turkey about him allying Spain. On ally them. On ally them. Why do you re-ally them? Are you fucking retarded? Eric, Eric, are you fucking you brain dead? I'm allying with Spain and I'm allied with you, so like Yeah, if I declare war, I'll go against you, you fucking retard! No, I would not. Look at General! King on ally them. Spain is not gonna be on the map. All right, now you can ally them. All right, I'm just doing German things to Spain right now. All right, so I'm destroying Spain, and you want to know who joins the war? The United States. Join the war against us! Oh shit, really? Alright, now it's time to bully him. Like 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 what the title says. Oh what the fuck! Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Pull in, pull in. I'm so entrenched at Berlin. Okay, I am not I'm not ending the war. Even if Spain is dead, I'm not ending the war. We're fing ripping the US. Oh martial law, I forgot about that. Now this is a prime example on why you keep troops entrenched at your home capital. Oh shit, he's sending everything he got to Berlin! He, oh! Oh, he lost everything! He lost everything in Berlin! He lost everything in Berlin! He lost everything at fucking Berlin! And shortly after that, he fucking collapsed. But we're not done yet because China is still on the map and I don't like that. So Russia just declared independence from Ukraine and I was like, I I'm, I'm gonna invade that. And I, I stole Moscow. And China hates that. All right, so basically, um, the Mexican Empire, he was like whispering to China, saying like, pay me money and I'll invade Germany. But like, Mexican Empire is on my side, so we were basically scamming Qing Dynasty. And I got like $10 billion from it. So Qing just gave me money against Qing. Bro, he said bro. <laughs> I feel bad a little. All right, nice. India, white peace. That's pro. Wait, let's see. Who's on my side here? We can get Bangladesh. Can... I can add Korea! All right. Yo, you're gonna scam him. Yo, I'm about to play the biggest manipulator. Yo, he is losing so much shit. Are you scamming China? You're scamming, bro. I feel bad. He's gonna collapse. He's sending all his shit. He has a million losses. Oh, Korea, Korea, but to send you 10 billion dollars. 10? Send that shit to me! <laughs> Yo! Korea is making a fucking front in Manchuria. Korea has 200 million population. Korea has 200 million population. I know damn well Bangladesh wants to get in on this. I just bought artillery when I was going to buy artillery. Wait, I'm getting broke for my big military. Yo, the freaking lying is like on point, bro. <laughs> oh, wait, I could declare war on the USA now. Let's go. Easy money, easy money, easy money. There goes shang -C. He squashed everything. He squashed everything. Oh, I'm still fighting rebels. What is going on with China and Korea, bro? Yo, I just like... I wanna say I wanna tell India you're next. You're next. 
All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you should enjoy this one because it's also a good video. Subscribe.